this could be the greatest time you ever live if you control what you focus on, if you find a more empowering meaning, and if you decide to model the actions of those who succeeded before you. It can be the best financial time, the best emotional time, the best spiritual time of your life, but you better take control of your state. And if you think you're going to do it just by today, you're wrong. You're going to need to get yourself some rituals. Right now, every one of you in this room is controlled by your rituals. I don't just mean this one. I mean every morning you get up. I know your body. I can look at your body right now, and I can guess your rituals. Some of you, your rituals to work out five times a week, I can see it clearly. Four to six times a week, it's obvious. Because you couldn't look like that if you didn't do that. Some form of workout. I don't care if it's walking, lifting, whatever. Some of you, it's obvious that lifting weights is part of it. You can see by that man's muscles. I know, I know what his rituals are. Because your life comes from your rituals. If you don't develop the ritual, you're kidding yourself. How many of you agree with me on this? Raise your hand. Say, I. And there are rituals that put you in state, and there are rituals that take you out of state. You have rituals in your relationship. You have rituals with your body. You have rituals around your finances. And the rituals that worked in the reaping time of fall in the markets and in business and in real estate, those rituals won't work now. If you do the right thing at the wrong time, you get pain. I'll say that again. If you do the right, you go, but Tony, I'm doing the right thing, but I'm not being rewarded. If you do the right thing at the wrong time, you don't get rewarded, you get pain. So you better do the right thing at the right time. And to do that, you better know what season you're in. And to do that, you better learn how to change your state, how to take control of your own conditioning. That's what I live for. Does this make sense to you, yes or no? Come on, guys, yes or no? So now it's time to train yourself to do that. I'll show you how fast it can change. Try this just for a second. I want to show you what you can do with just focus. Try this for a moment. I'm going to give you a test. Sit up in your chair with some energy. Make sure your buddy next to you is in a strong state. If or otherwise, adjust their state. Come on, change their physiology. What are they going to do? See if they're ticklish. That might help. Now do this. I want you to look around this room right now and find everything in this room that you can find that is brown as fast as you can. Look for brown. Look for brown. Look for brown. Look for brown. Look around you. Look for brown. Look for brown. Look for brown. Okay, close your eyes. I'm going to give you a test. With your eyes closed now, shout out loud everything you saw that was red. If you see a lot more brown right now than red, say yes. Open your eyes. Look for red now. I want you to really look for red. Look for red. Look for red. Look for red. Anything you can find that's red, look for red. All around you, look for red. Raise your hand if you found more red this time and say I. Why did you find more red this time? Because seek and you shall. That's right. Whatever you focus on, you're going to find it. In fact, let me tell you something. You'll even find it when it's not there. How many saw burgundy called it red just so you could have more things you counted? Raise your hand. Say, aye. Come on. See, whatever you're looking for, you're going to find. So if you want to change your life, my friends, you've got to change your physiology and you've got to change your focus. By the way, how fast can you change that stuff? How fast, my friends? How fast? How fast? Come on. In a heartbeat, once you rechange your conditioning, that's all you got to do. And you can do it fast. You can do it with a question or two. Try this right now. Answer this question in your mind and be honest. What in your life today, if you wanted to be, could you feel proud about right now? If you wanted to feel proud, if you didn't feel like, I shouldn't be proud. If you wanted to feel proud, what could you be proud of in your life today? Your children, your health, your body. Is there a problem you faced? Instead of running from it, you finally stepped up and handled it? What could you feel proud of in your life today? If you wanted to feel proud. How many can think of something? And when you think about this thing you're proud of, what about that makes you feel proud? What do you focus on that makes you feel proud? How do you breathe when you really start to feel proud? What's the kind of look on your face that starts to happen when you let yourself feel proud? Yeah. How's that feel? Hmm. Think of another area of your life. Think of an area of your life that you're grateful for. Or if you go, I'm not grateful. If you wanted to be grateful, what's an area you could feel grateful for? What could you feel grateful for if you really wanted to feel grateful? How many can think of something you could feel grateful for? Let me see your hands. And what about that are you grateful for? What do you focus on that makes you feel grateful? How does it feel when you're really, truly feeling filled with gratitude?
here's one. If you wanted to be excited about your life right now, and you were willing to be excited, you were willing to buck everybody else's trend, what could you feel excited about in your life if you wanted to feel excited? What could you get excited about if you really focused on it and you really took it in? And you weren't in a negative place. What could you get excited about if you wanted to be excited in your life? What could you get excited about? How many of you can think of something you feel excited about right now? Raise your hand. Let me see your hand. Say I. When you're really excited about it, what about that excites you? Or when you're really excited, how do you feel? How do you speak? What's your life like? By the way, when you're excited, does it tend to touch other people? Yes or no? Absolutely. By the way, do people have a tendency? By the way, who feels different right now than just even a couple moments ago? Raise your hand and say, I. Why? Because focus is controlled by questions. If you ask a different question continuously, not once, continuously, you will get a different answer. If you ask a lousy question, you get a lousy answer in a lousy state. Somebody says, why does this always happen to me? It doesn't always happen to you, but the brain's like a computer. Ask it a question, it'll have to come up with an answer. Because you deserve it, you idiot. Someone will say, how come I can never lose weight? You can lose weight, but if you keep saying, how come I can never lose weight, the brain's got to come and answer. It goes, you're a pig. Lousy questions create what? Lousy answers. Ask a better question, get a better answer. Now, here's what I want you to get. I want you to get that you can change your state. How fast, guys? How fast? How fast? And if you get the habit of doing it, you'll have a different life. 